Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television's GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is one of the latest Transformers R.E.D. figures, Ultra Magnus. Uh, the R.E.D. figures, robot enhanced design, are more action figures based off of Transformers. They don't uh, transform at all. You got a lot of uh, points of articulation and some great accessories. Um, you know, Ultra Magnus is obviously based off of the Optimus Prime that has already been released. I'm not expecting much difference between the figures, but we'll, uh, we'll open up and show it off. Uh, the first thing that, that you know obviously stands out to me is the fact is it is just basically the, all, the Optimus Prime figure. There's no difference that I can tell between the two other than the coloring. Um, you know, this is, this is kind of, you know, the Ultra Magnus without his cool, uh, what was it, war suit or whatever it's called. Um, still, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of pumped to, to check out the figure. I actually will always love the white look uh, for Optimus as that and Nemesis Prime. I always thought were really, really cool colorings. One more thing to cut out. Alright, um, right, let's always do the stand test. I like doing the stand test. These figures are really super easy to stand up. I mean, you see not much, and that was even after me bending it around. Simple. Um, Alright, let's do the test for movement of parts. We got the feet up and down, a little bit side to side. Uh, there is at the upper leg, the knee does have a double join to it. Uh, waist, nice pivot. The waist kind of feels a little loose. Uh, hip, a lot, generally a lot of movement to it. And arm up, down, all around. There's a good amount of movement on the arm. Uh, elbow, not so much double joint. There is at the upper uh, upper arm, there is uh, some twisting, and the wrist, uh, not so much up and down, but you do get kind of left and right with that, and then the head, all over the place, and the big question is, <gasps> there's the big difference between the two, there is no matrix of leadership uh, with Ultra Magnus, so, nice detail that they don't have the Matrix of Leadership in uh, in this figure. Uh, so, my general thought, I like, as far as the the kind of the Optimus part of um, of Ultra Magnus, the figure looks really solid. Um, the, the, the coloring is good. I noticed there's, like, little coloring nick on there on the back. Not, not much, though. Um, so, the color looks really solid. Nice blues, nice, nice whites, very crisp. I like the grays. Um, as usual with the RED figures, the red figures, uh, I, you know, if you are into action figures, I think it's it, they're, they're solid. If you just want, like, a good, cool uh, figure to pose, uh, it's great if you don't care about the, the, um, uh, the transforming part of it. I think these are just really great uh, ways to capture the classic figures, or just not, yeah, well, yeah, classic figures. Uh, we have a lot of extras. The uh, X to go shop, though I don't think I've ever saw Ultra Magnus use this, did he? I don't think I've ever seen Ultra Magnus use this. Could I be wrong? Someone, someone want to correct me on that one? And then, actually, we'll, we'll put in the hand with the blaster. No, 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 actually, the, the, that hand won't have blaster. The blaster hand is only for the right, interesting. You cannot put in the left. He does have some open hands uh, on left and right, though. And, of course, his uh, his blaster can go take stuff out. Um, my general, So, as I was saying, so I think the coloring on this is, is really nice. It's, you know, it's a nice reskin of, of Optimus. Um, I'd love to see a Nemesis Prime uh, released. If we're, we're going to do a bunch of reskins and just repaints, um, I would like to see Nemesis Prime. I think it would be a really cool addition, or Shattered Glass would be cool as well. Um, but overall, like I'm a fan of this line. I think it's really cool. Um, the, the lack of transformation doesn't bother me. It's kind of not the point of these. Um, they just look 
really, really great and kind of bring me back to some uh, classic feels of, of Transformers. Um, the one thing I will say about uh, Ultra Magnus, you know, it, it is kind of, was I, what, Minimus, I believe, was the inside version of him. You know, it doesn't have the war suit, which is kind of a bummer. I'd love to see maybe a release of that. That would be really cool. So this could go fit inside that. That would be an awesome, awesome addition uh, and a really neat accessory. But overall, like, I mean, I, I think the... Uh, this line is really for the hardcore Transformer fans. It's not a bad thing at all. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of collect uh, collector of these. I've gotten every single one released so far, uh, and I'm pretty pumped to see what's next. So, um, yeah, I mean, if yeah, it's it's a, just a very nice looking figure. Out now, you can go get this. Uh, Hasbro Pulse and I believe Walmart are the two places to get this. We'll have some links underneath this video where you can purchase it. Uh, if you want the latest Transformer news, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Comic uh, news primarily, but you know some toys as well. Uh, you can find us at uh, on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, uh, Instagram, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, transform, roll out, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.